<laughs> yeah. Oh! Came off. I was horsing them. Trying to get them in the boat quick because I got to leave in like three minutes and he came off. Springtime is one of the best times for a lot of different baits, but one of my favorite lures, one of my favorite techniques to throw during the spring is a Ned Rig. The Ned Rig, the TRD, the Turd, a lot of us know what the Ned Rig is. Not all of us love the Ned Rig, but today I wanna to talk about a few mistakes that anglers make with a Ned Rig during the spring. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. This video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. What they did is they took thousands of different data points from hundreds of different tournaments and they put it all into this app that helps you to find strategies and lures to go out and catch bass. Once you download the app, you can select the lake that you are fishing you can select the water temperature you can put in the water clarity you can also select whether that lake has vegetation or no vegetation and whether you're fishing in a protected area or a non protected area once you put that into the app it's going to spit out some strategies and some lures that you can use in real time so if you guys have not yet checked out that app click the link down below in the description and download it today you know, there's actually a lot of people that don't like the Ned Rig. I was actually kind of one of these people when it first started to come out. I really didn't want to throw this kind of stupid looking lure, but the thing is, is that Ned Rigs catch bass. They catch smallmouth, they catch spotted bass, and they catch largemouth. Now, during the spring, you have the opportunity to catch bass on a lot of different lures, but let's quickly talk about some of the springtime mistakes anglers make with a Ned Rig. The first mistake a lot of anglers make with a Ned Rig is they don't throw it in muddy water. I think as this technique, this lure has grown in popularity that a lot of people don't think about throwing it in that off color, that muddy water. You know, a lot of times in those situations we're thinking about spinner baits and chatter baits or crank baits and yes those were obviously catch fish but sometimes especially during the spring when you're dealing with a lot of cold fronts a net rig can be hard to beat a lot of times in the spring when you're dealing with that off color water something that it will do is sometimes it will push fish to the bank and it will push them up shallow and that shallow water will warm up when you have sunny days but then bam all of a sudden you're hit with a cold front and now that spinner bait that you were catching on them isn't catching them anymore or even flipping a jig into the wood isn't catching them anymore and sometimes that is when I like to pick up a Ned Rig and throw it up shallow. Now a lot of times I like to target rock with the Ned Rig in shallow rock maybe shallow rock banks because I can throw an exposed hook like this but if you're fishing it around a lot of wood there are different Ned Rig heads that will allow you to go through that cover a lot easier. But the big concept here is don't be afraid to throw it in that off color water no matter what species of bass you are fishing for and no matter what type of body of water you are fishing for a bass can find a net rig in that off color water and it will catch them when other baits simply will not the next big mistake that a lot of anglers make with the net rig is not throwing it early enough during the spring depending on where you live in the country your water temperatures may only get down to 40 or even low 50s if you live in the south but for a lot of people your water temperature may get really cold and your lake or reservoir or pond that you fish may actually freeze over and the thing about a Ned rig is it is one of the best cold water baits that you can throw and for the simple fact is that it is a very subtle bait it's a very small bait and you work it extremely slow across the bottom something slow something subtle and something small are big characteristics that I look for in a lure when I am fishing colder water now if you are fishing in clearer cold water there's literally no temperature that a bass will not bite a net rig i mean as soon as that ice comes off the water they're gonna bite a net rig but even in muddy water kind of like what we talked about earlier they will still bite a net rig as a matter of fact earlier this year i was fishing 41 degree muddy water and i caught my first fish of the year on a net rig so don't be afraid to throw this bait in cold cold water the third mistake that i see a lot of anglers make with a net rig especially during the spring is they don't fish it slow enough whether you are fishing in the pre-spawn when that water temperature
temperature is colder or even in the spawn or even in the post spawn, like later spring, you cannot go wrong by fishing a Ned Rig extremely slow. Now, obviously, like we just talked about with colder water, fishing it slow is a must. But even when you get into the spawn and those fish are up on the bank, fishing this bait very slow, whether you can see that fish or not, the slower you fish it, the more bass that you are going to catch. I remember fishing years ago on Lake St. Clair up in Michigan, and I was actually targeting dark spots that I could visibly see with my eyes. And most of the time there would be bass that would be bedding on these dark spots, but because of the wind, I really couldn't see those fish, but I would cast that net rig out and I would drag it as slow as I could. And even though I couldn't see the fish, I caught a ton of bass. And it seemed like the slower you drug it, the more bites that you would get. Now, as you get into later spring and the bass start kind of moving offshore, I still like to fish a net rig extremely slow because sometimes those bass are a little bit beat up from the spawn. You will catch fish, whether they're males or females, that you can tell are a little bit beat up. So sometimes they'll just go out into that deeper water just to kind of recover. And they're not always very active. You kind of have this post spawn funk that you go through every single year. And that is a great time to pick up the net rig and fish it, I'm telling you, as slow as you can. And when I am talking about slow, I am talking about slow, okay? Literally counting rocks, like barely moving that bait. A lot of us, when we when we pick up the net rig, we kind of drag it slow, we kind of hop it around the bottom. And there's a big difference between kind of hopping it across the bottom and literally just as slow as you can. I mean, you might make a cast and it might take you several minutes to make the retrieve back, but I'm telling you the slower you can fish this bait during the spring, the more and bigger fish you're gonna catch on a Ned Rig. Now, the Ned Rig is one of my favorite finesse techniques, but probably my very favorite finesse technique is a drop shot. And I actually did a video all about a drop shot that I'm gonna link right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I think you will enjoy this video about a drop shot. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.